heading off on a road trip, make sure your pets are as safe and comfortable as you are. Nationally, it's illegal to drive with a pet in your lap or for them to be deemed a distraction to the driver. So always harness them in the back seat where they can be nice and safe. Hey, that's where you like to go, isn't it, Das? You can also harness your dog in the back cargo area if you happen to have a barrier, but never in the front seat because if your airbags are deployed, they could injure or kill them in an accident. And keep cats in an enclosed but well ventilated and secure carrier. Never tie your dog by the collar or directly to the handle. And of course, never let them travel in the caravan when you're on the road. Just like us, our pets can get car sickness as well. So only give them a little bit of food before the journey, but plenty of water. Stop every couple of hours for exercise and toilet. Also make sure the car is well ventilated or the window down. If your pet has motion sickness, you might notice them looking listless or uneasy, licking their lips, drooling or yawning, or it can even develop into symptoms like vomiting or diarrhoea. However, these signs and others such as shaking or whining might also indicate they have anxiety. If your dog is stressed or anxious about car travel, then it's really important to go back to the basics. Condition them to getting into the car in a good, positive environment. Well done, Darcy. What we really want to do is small steps. So when they're being calm and good around the car, you would leave the car door open, reward them and give them freedom to do what they want. Their favourite blanket or toy can also help. Then the next step would be to shut the door and allow them to be in there, rewarding that calm behaviour as you go every step of the way. Then you might turn the car on. Again, rewarding calm behaviour. You're doing this over a matter of weeks. Then short outings to their favourite spot, the local park, where they have a really positive association with the car travel. Again, always rewarding. Good boy. Nice, calm behaviour in the car. It does take a while and a lot of patience, but it's really important that you get this right. Because if you create that positive association with the car, you can really reduce their anxiety levels. And of course, the Adaptal Spray can also help there too. Adaptal Spray releases pheromones to create a safe and secure environment. Spray it in the car or on your dog's blanket 15 minutes before you leave to help reduce symptoms like panting, trembling or restlessness. Improvements may be seen almost immediately. Respray every four hours and never spray directly on your dog. The spray releases pheromones that mimic the chemical that a dog naturally produces, like a mother dog does to her puppies, to provide a signal of security and comfort. These are called dog appeasing pheromones and can only be picked up by other dogs and not humans or other animals. There's also a feel away spray that is specifically for cats. To find out more about the Adaptal Spray and other related products that may assist with anxiety in dogs, visit their website. You can also check out the Pooches at Play website to download these tips and plenty of others on anxiety. You ready to go, Das? Good boy. Yes, you are.